Hello everyone, boys and girls, my squids and squidettes. Well, actually, this is a Harley video, so you're probably not a squid, but more of a spud. In honor of our Sportster 1200 making its way off to a farm upstate, I thought we should honor it with a little bit more juicy Harley content. And since we're making a video about light beer reviews or domestic violence for a little too off-brand, we'll cater this to the third thing that all Harley guys love, modifying their bikes. And we're not talking about skulls or tassels or rebel flags, we're talking about seven essential mods to do on your Harley Davidson. Let's get into it. Now I know what you're thinking, Yam, you're not a Harley guy, how dare you make this video, but I have access to the internet and can do research, so here we go. The first thing that every Harley Davidson owner needs to do when they get their bikes is put on an aftermarket exhaust. I mean, no one is buying a Harley to break land speed records, they buy a Harley to rev bomb their neighbors in the middle of the night after sucking down some cold ones with the foghorn and the boys down at the Torque Dog Tavern. If you're going to commit to regular noise violations, you might as well just do it the right way and get a nice pipe on your bike. The best thing about buying a motorcycle that has been relatively unchanged for 30 years is the availability of aftermarket support. Just about every parts manufacturer makes exhaust systems for every Harley Davidson under the sun, from the Sportster to the Street Glide to the Super Glide to the Astro Glide, wink wink. Hell, even Harley Davidson sells their own aftermarket Scream and Eagle exhaust that you can install right at the dealership while your bike still has zero miles on it. Can you taste the irony, or is that just the Astro Glide? Anyway, some exhausts are better than others. You can do a slip-on if you want to improve the sound of your engine, or you can do a full system if you want to improve the performance as well. Two into one exhaust systems are usually determined to create the most noticeable power gains, but you will need an intake and a tune as well to see any real improvements. That brings us to the next essential modification, paired with an aftermarket exhaust system, an aftermarket or high flow air filter combined with a tune or eco flash completes a stage one upgrade. Because although Harley Davidson riders are obsessed with freedom, they must follow strict and regimented schedules for their motorcycle upgrades. But like any motorcycle, replacing the stock air filter with an aftermarket one, paired with a freer flowing exhaust and tuned to allow for proper fueling, will net a noticeable difference in power. And while it's no surprise, Harley Davidson also sells high flow air filters and tuners in their Scream and Eagle catalog, but really any motorcycle will benefit from being freed up a little bit like this and a Harley-Davidson is no exception. And with how prevalent this stage one modification is, it should be super easy to find a litany of parts options and tuners with off-the-shelf maps that literally just need to be plugged into the ECU. Gone are the days of having to rejet your carb a dozen times because the details of your parts, motorcycle elevation, credit rating, and political party affiliation don't 100% match the jet kit's predetermined specifications. The stage one upgrade usually nets an approximate 10% increase in power on a Harley Davidson, so like four or five horsepower depending on your engine size. But guys, with the year coming to an end and we're starting off a brand new year in 2023, I wanted to do something really special for all my sweet little squids. So to show my appreciation for all of your support throughout the riding year, we're doing a pop-up giveaway to close out 2022. We want to make sure that you're geared up for 2023, so for the first time ever in Yami New history, we're doing a gear giveaway. We've put together a complete kit with a helmet, jacket, riding jeans, gloves, and boots, and we're going to be giving it away to one lucky squid this year. Every piece of gear in this set has been curated by your sweet Papa Yam himself and is guaranteed to get you out there and ready for this riding season. It's a new year, new gear giveaway, but only for this week. Head over to shop.yamity.co, pick out anything you want from the site, and you'll be automatically entered to win this complete riding kit. There's no discount code required. If there's ever a giveaway that you do not want to miss, it is this one. One random order in this time frame is going to win, so your odds are pretty high. But time is running out. Go to shop.yamityradco and get entered to win. So you've done a few basic modifications that can improve the sound and power on your Harley Davidson. An easy mod that can have a significant impact on your riding experience is the installation of aftermarket grips. All Harley Davidson motorcycles come with those dumb, flat, hard, black plastic grips. Like, you'd think a $20,000 motorcycle would have room in the budget for grips that are a little bit more comfortable than the ones you used on a radio flyer tricycle. Especially when you consider the extreme vibration most Harley Davidson motorcycles have. A nice set of aftermarket grips will reduce fatigue from vibration and the general lack of padding you'll find on the stock rubber. And while you're at it, you can also install aftermarket handlebars if you really want to modify your riding experience. This is a freebie. Handlebars aren't even one of the seven mods today, but if you're going through the effort to remove your old grips and throttle tube, a process that involves the removal of the control clusters on a Harley Davidson, you might as well unbolt the triple clamp and swap out the handlebars. That's an easy way to turn a ratty old Sportster or Grandpa Spec Super Glide into an edgy West Coast Club style Dyna Bro bike. Or you could install some wicked ape hangers and assert your dominance as the true alpha male of the trailer park. Remember, if you install bars that are significantly different height than stock, you will need to install longer brake lines and a clutch cable as well. But lo and behold, there are many aftermarket brake line extension kits available for every Harley Davidson. 
Speaking of rider, Experience, another mod that will improve the look of your motorcycle as well as the comfort is a nice aftermarket seat. There are many reasons you'd want a new seat on your bike and there are seats for every scenario. Sometimes the sock seats are just bulky and ugly so you can buy an aftermarket seat that is both more comfortable and better looking. Especially if you're riding a Sportster with super stiff rear suspension, a better seat is cheaper and easier to install than swapping the rear shocks which will make the ride noticeably better. Some bikes from HD don't come with great or all existent passenger accommodations and Harley guys love riding around with their old ladies on their back. So you gotta get a better seat for riding two up. You know Harley guys have a saying, it goes something like, if your hog can't support your lady, a grouchy wife will be awaiting. Spend $500 on a screaming eagle seat, go get a wallet and chain too, won't that be neat? So yeah, get a new seat or you'll be forced to recite limericks on stage during bike night's open mic. Sometimes when modifying your Harley Davidson, you'll get to the point where you think, am I literally paying for something that should come from this bike from the factory? And the answer is, yes, you are. There are some brand new Harley Davidson models that are still leaving the factory with halogen headlights. And if you own a late model Harley Davidson motorcycle, you're almost guaranteed to have halogen headlights. And halogen headlights on a motorcycle suck. Even the Svarpillen that costs less than six grand comes with LED lights. So while it is kind of annoying to have to upgrade something on an HD that should have to be from the factory, having some fresh LED lights will improve your riding experience and safety. There's nothing like that terrifying feeling of riding on a dark, unlit country road at night with only the small glow of a halogen headlight illuminating a pinhole-sized tunnel of space in front of you. And the whole ride you anticipate a deer, armadillo, or a liger to jump out of their shadowy sanctuary into the small portion of illuminated row in front of you. Whereas if you have a super bright LED headlight, riding at night doesn't have to feel like you're out scrambling on the dark side of the moon. And while you're at it, you can install a headlight and taillight with integrated turn signals, so you can finally toss those old round orange ones that have come stock on every Harley Davidson since the beginning of time. Another modification that will make a night and day difference in riding is your suspension upgrade. Anyone that has ridden a sports or a Dyna knows just how unforgiving the rear suspension can be. Swapping out the stock rear shocks in a Harley Davidson is really quite simple for a couple buddies with some basic tools and a car jack to accomplish. Raising the ride height in the rear will not only improve the comfort and the extra suspension travel, it will also improve the handling on the bike will be quicker to turn in during cornering when the rear sits a little bit higher. And pretty much every rebuilt Dyna from 1990 that is being sold for 12 grand has a good set of aftermarket shocks in the rear. If you're looking to improve the handling of your Harley Davidson, a rear suspension upgrade is non-negotiable. If you want to go all out, you can also rebuild your forks with aftermarket springs and cartridges as well. Once you've got all your basic modifications done to improve the ride quality and style of your Harley Davidson, there's not much else to do other than throw more go fast parts at it. And there are so many companies that make aftermarket parts for Harley to do stage 1, 2, 3, 420, and 69 upgrades. So you aren't just limited to what's available from Harley themselves. If you've already had your intake and exhaust improved during your stage 1 kit, you might be wondering what the next step is. Typically, Harley riders will install an aftermarket cam to improve power and torque at certain points in the rev range. Some cams are advertised as being better suited for higher RPMs, while others increase power earlier during low RPMs. You'll have to take some time to think about what makes sense for the way you ride. If an upgraded cam still isn't giving you butterflies for you'd like to get from your steel horse, you can take the next step and install a big bore kit with larger pistons and cylinders. This is a common mod for sportsters and one we actually did on an Iron 883 back in 2020, but there are kits for just about every Harley Davidson available. If you haven't gathered by now, Harleys are just the kind of motorcycle Legos that you piece together using parts that fit your style and goals. There really is no limit to how you can customize or get on with these things. And while a big bore kit may not be necessary, a cam upgrade is just about a mandatory modification if you expect to see any significant performance gains out of an otherwise underpowered motorcycle. Harley riders in the audience, which modifications have you done and which am I missing? Between our two giveaway sportsters over the years, I have seen nearly all of these mods done firsthand and I can attest to the value they add to these motorcycles. So there you go. If you think I'm not a Harley guy, I probably have more experience than you do. As always, please take a second to subscribe. If you liked the video, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Fact. Many rich golfers in Japan have a hole-in-one insurance policy. They purchase it because if they get a hole-in-one, they have to buy gifts and drinks for their friends. The policy covers them for a party worth up to $3,000 for the low price of $65 a year. Goodbye. Keep watching Amy Noob!